Sports. Sharon Winkler is with us. Her son Alex died by suicide at the age of 17, and she was at the hearing yesterday. Sharon, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. And we want to start by saying we are sorry for your loss. As I just mentioned, your son Alex died by suicide back in 2017. And we understand this was after being bullied by anonymous users online. And first, I'm just wondering your thoughts on the hearing yesterday, what you heard in the room, and if you think any progress was made. Well, I, I clearly I was very disappointed. None of the CEOs convinced me that youth online safety was a, a key priority for them. It was especially disappointing to hear Mark Zuckerberg maintain that no one could prove that his uh, platforms caused youth harms. Most of the centers presented very thorough and convincing arguments that these platforms do not cause youth harms do cause youth harms. However, I agree with Senator Graham that we've had enough hearings and it's time for Congress to take some action and pass COSA now. We want to thank you for sharing that beautiful picture of your mm -hmm. son Alex behind you there. I want to ask you a little more about one of the things that made so many <clears throat> headlines. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg apologizing directly to you. We're going to show that moment real quickly here. I I'm sorry for everything that you have all gone through. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. And this is why we invest so much and are going to continue doing industry-leading efforts to, uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. We just heard some parents say they didn't buy it. They thought it was a joke. How did you feel at that moment? Did you think it was genuine? Well, it... <laughs> It was good to be seen and acknowledged, uh, especially after Meta's platform so often refused to take any action against uh, users who uh, post harmful content or to even take that content down. I thank Senator Hawley for pushing for the apology, but I doubt that it's going to make any changes at Meta. Sharon, for people who maybe don't have children or aren't exposed to these platforms or in trying to keep their kids safe from something and who might think, you know, bullying also happens in school or, or texting can be a, a form of communication that could essentially be harmful. How would legislation specifically around social media, something like the Kids Online Safety Act, make a material difference? How do you think it would save lives? There, there are many ways that uh, the COSA will uh, save lives. First of all is the duty of care. It makes companies accountable for preventing and mitigating specific harms, such as suicide, eating disorders, cyberbullying, substance abuse, and sexual exploitation. It makes uh, has safeguards for minors, such as the safest settings by default, the ability to easily opt out of algorithms, mandates emergency reporting systems that address urgent concerns such as cyberbullying in an expedited time frame. It also calls for transparency, requiring that uh, platforms make publicly available independent third-party risk assessments and mandates that qualified researchers have access to platform data. COSA does not censor content. It regulates technologies by requiring that platforms are designed with youth safety as the highest priority. Sharon, we just want to give you a moment to tell us a little more about your son, Alex, and how do you hope to honor his memory? You know, Alex was a, a, a terrific kid. He was uh, so fun and so sensitive. Uh, he cared for other people so much. And, um, I'd like to think that uh, he's he's here with me, uh, hoping that we can prevent this tragedy from happening to other families. Mm -hmm. Sharon Winkler, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for sharing your experience in that room as well as telling us about your son. We really appreciate it. Thank you. And if you or anyone you know is struggling, you can call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline right there on your screen, 988. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.